Okay, um, Foundation Digital Media students, I'm back. I'm going to do a quick demo on how to do highlight and shadows um, on these graphic novel, novel figures. Um, so first of all, I have um, this Batman all colored in very flat colors. It doesn't look very good. There's so many colors that are a similar value. So in other words, this is kind of a medium value, medium value, a little bit lighter, all medium, all medium. So I, I, what I should do is alter some of the colors. I do want to show you how to do that, just so you, you know. Um, if I hide this art layer and hide the background color, you can see there's, um, like if I wanted to change the cape and cowl, I would control click on the little icon in the layers palette to select everything in the cape and cowl um, layer. Um, I could go to um, colors and maybe pick a new a new color. I don't know. I can't. I shouldn't go very close to black because it could look kind of kind of silly. But I, now I want to make sure I go on the right cape and cowl layer and then alt backspace to fill that in. Um, I think my background is a little bit too dark, so I'm going to control click on the background, which is a giant square. Um, I'll go to my colors, and I might, so if, I, if I'm in the paintbrush, I can alt or option click on the background to select that color. And I think I want to go maybe... I would can try lighter, but I don't want to go any greener. And then alt backspace. Hmm, maybe I do want to go a little greener. Alt backspace. Okay, that's that's fine for right now. Um, so you get the idea. That's how you can change color. So no no reason to like erase things and um, go in and uh, recolor. It's just a matter of. Um, Alt clicking or yeah, control clicking here or command clicking if you're on the Mac, and then um, get on that layer and Alt backspace to fill that in. And I might do that with a couple of these just to kind of. Okay, well it's not looking any better, but that's okay. Um, so that's how you'd color these layers. Now to to color the highlights and shadows, um, I have this body layer. And that is all of the color, the, the whole body is colored in a flat color. What I like to do is make a new layer above it and call it body L and S for light and shadow. There's nothing on that layer, but right now it's, to me, I'm kind of grouping them visually in my head or, you know, I'm, that's how I'm categorizing, categorizing these. So like we did to fill this in, I'm gonna, I only want those areas that are the body color to be colored. So I'm gonna hold down Command or Control, Control on the PC, and click on this little body icon layer, and everything is selected again, just like we talked about. Um, this time I'm gonna be on the body light and shadow layer. So um, I'm gonna right click and make sure my hardness is down at zero, and then bracket left to kind of size down my um, paintbrush. Now I'm going to start with the color of the base color of the body and then um, so here's the base color and I'm going to start with highlights I think so I'm going to go up a little bit so this will be my highlight color here we'll see how that's going to look so I'm on light and shadow and if, if I have to kind of think of what direction is the light coming I'm thinking it's coming from the top left if I look at his head like a bowl, it's light up here and dark down here. I'm not a bowl, but a, like a sphere. So I'm going to go with that. Um, I might move this up a little bit. And then everything on the top right of these forms should be, should be colored. And this is not great, but it does give you a good idea of kind of how to do it. Probably the top of his leg is going to be lit quite a bit. Maybe this part of his leg, um, maybe the rib cage. Now, if I'm getting, if if I go, man, my brush is just painting too bright. 
I can back off this opacity maybe to 50, and I'm just clicking on the word and dragging left. Now my light is much less, and if I go over it a few times, it will. Um, I can put more and more layers on it. Okay, so that's the light side. Now I'm going to click on the base color again, and this time I'm going to go to the shadow. Okay, so now I'm just going to color in the shadow. What would be on the shadow side, the bottom right side of all these forms? Well, I kind of think the belly and this, the, his lat um, might be in that categorized as on the left side, parts of his rib here, 